Everyone loves looking at the beautiful flowers in the spring and summer, but do you know that the preparation starts in the fall? Here at Elizabeth Park in West Hartford, home to America's oldest public rose garden, Ms. Rosemary Aldridge and a team of volunteers begin planning their elaborate display of tulips. So right now, it's October, we're planting tulips that will bloom next spring. After the tulips bloom, we take those out and we prepare the soil again. We recut all of the edges and rototill everything and plant annuals, summer plants. This hard work starts earlier than most would think. I start evaluating the garden when it's in bloom in April. So I'm making notes about which plants are doing well, which ones are not doing so well. And I'm always six to nine months ahead. This beautiful garden couldn't be done without the help of the Green Thumbed Volunteers. It's different every day. I probably have a list of about 20 different people that I draw on, but of course they don't work every day. So I might have a group of three or four. They'll come in and they'll probably start working on, on this end or maybe the lower end, preparing the beds tomorrow. And then I'll have a group of volunteers start again on Monday. The volunteers work tirelessly and it all pays off when the public gets to enjoy the gorgeous arrangements. I have brought my dogs here almost daily for, for over 40 years. I think the whole park is just unusually attractive and I just uh, I just had a conversation with one of the gardeners here and one thing I mentioned is that I keep on running into people from all over Connecticut and she said they come from all over the world. Here at Elizabeth Park something's always blooming whether it be fun or flowers so come by in the spring to see the tulips. This has been Molly Grove reporting from Hall High School Fox 61 Student News.